All right, let's go to, all right, there you go. All right, so a ta the towers of the Golden Gate Bridge connecting San Francisco to Marin County are 1,280 meters apart and rise 160 meters above the road. All right. Uh, the cable between the towers has the shape of a parabola and the cable just touches the sides of the road midway between the towers. What is the height of the cable? 200 meters from the tower around to the nearest meter. So the towers are here, correct? Here are the towers. And we're kind of going 200 meters right this way, going this way, 200 meters. Either way, it's fine. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to find the equation of this parabola here. <laughs> all right. And they give you a few clues, right? They give you this right here. All right. Why? So how do you know this is this is 640, right? This is one, this whole thing is 1280. So you notice that 640 is half of 1280. Okay. And so what would this point right here be? Right here. It would be negative 640, right? Oops. It would be negative 640, comma 160, right? So what does that mean about this point right here? That's zero. Zero, zero. Okay, so we have we have uh, three points. We have the zero, zero, which is the vertex. And then we have 640, comma 160, and we have negative 640, comma 160. Let me erase that. We good there? Okay, so right now we have, if you put it in an equation right here, it would be what? Y minus K is equal, or A, let's put the A here, and the X minus H squared. Right, that's our vertex form. You could put the A on the other side. Either way is fine. But by the way, if you put the A on this side right here, a is equal to 4p. If you put the a on the other side of, in front of the squared term, a is equal to 1 over 4p. So just be careful with wherever you put the a value. Okay. All right. So what we're doing is here, we have y minus 0 is equal to x minus 0. Let's go a, sorry, a is here and then squared. So this equals what? A Y equals X squared. We good? Now our goal here is to find the A. All right. And we know the A is positive because the parabola is going up. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to temporarily plug in the 640 and the 16. Let's just do the positive one because the negative, I mean, the negative one's fine too. Let's do the positive one. So A is A times, bless you, A times 160 is equal to 640 to the second power. So we're just temporarily plugging X and Y in, right? So that we can find what the A is. So if we do that, 640 squared is 160A is equal to 409600. Then what do you do? You divide by 160 and you get 2000. A is equal to 2560. Are we done? No, right? Because what? We need to find our goal is to find how high the cable is after 200 feet from the bridge, okay? So before we move on, we're gonna go, now we have, our equation would be 2560Y is equal to X squared. You guys see, I got it from here. I plugged in the A and I made the equation right here.
All right, first of all, before we move on, what does the X represent and what does the Y represent? So be more specific, X represents what? About What about the parabola? This is a parabola, but what does the X represent? Like, is it the, the distance or the height or... Okay, so what X is the is the horizontal distance from this point right here, right? Right, right here, right? So if it's 240 feet from the bridge, what would X be equal to? Which is what? So you guys see that? Okay, so you see how the distance from the red mark to the bridge right here? is 640, right? But remember, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the height of the cable, right? 200 feet from the bridge, correct? So what's that equal to? So the X that we're looking for is 440, correct? Because remember from the center to the bridge is 640, right? But we have to subtract that to 200 because again, we're trying to find the height from the 200 feet from the, from the tower, okay? So we're trying to find this portion right here, this this portion right here, the 200 feet from the from the tower. All right. So what we're going to do is the x represents right the distance from the center to the 200 foot mark. So that's why it's 440. What's the height represent? I'm sorry. What does the y represent? I'll just give you the answer. What? Height. The height at what? 200 feet from the from the tower, so 440. Okay, so 2560y is equal to 440 squared. Two five. So 440 squared is 193,600. And then divide that by 2560. Y is equal to 75.625. So let's just say I had a sailboat, right? Whatever, or like a big, actually, never mind. That doesn't work for this. It looks like, but I, I can't fit anything underneath. Like if, or if I had a car that was, I don't know, like 100 feet tall kind of thing, right? Like it wouldn't be able to, it would hit, it would hit the cable if it was right going over, right? Kind of thing. So just remember, like, that part because we're gonna we're, there's gonna be a problem like that on the test later on. Okay. So also says around to the nearest you put seven it around to the nearest number? Meter. Meter, so it'll be 76. Okay. Well, any questions on that? <laughs>